Now, if you're gonna do a review on Kingsman the Golden Circle, what better place to do it than the actual tailor shop where the movie takes place? Hi everyone, I'm Isaac and this is Movie University. Very little time has passed between this Kingsman movie and the first entry into the series. Eggsy is now an agent in the Kingsman service. The movie kicks off with a bang as Eggsy is attacked from a former colleague of his. After thwarting this attack, he's off to dinner to meet his girlfriend's parents. While there, there is an attack that kills almost every Kingsman agent in the United Kingdom. Following his training, Eggsy meets up with his American counterparts, the Statesmen. The two agencies team up to fight a mysterious criminal organization known as the Golden Circle. For the most part, the acting of the movie is quite superb. Taron Egerton has his role down pat. He was pretty good in the first movie and continues knocking it out of the role as Eggsy in this one. All around, acting is quite good by all those cast. The Golden Circle was shot on Area Alexa cameras and formatted in Dolby Atmos surround sound, which means it looked and sounded fantastic on the IMAX screen I watched it on at the BFI in London. My only gripe is that the surround channels weren't utilized enough with the front speakers doing most of the work during the movie. The camera work is terrific as almost every action sequence has tons of 300 style slow camera movements. While this is cool to watch on screen, it does give the movie a sense of sequel fatigue as we see this in the first movie and now it seems like every action sequence in this movie has the fancy camera tricks as well. Minus that and a somewhat generic villain, Kingsman the Golden Circle is a lot of fun at the movie theater. There are quite a bit of comical sequences throughout the flick. Brains, skills, skipping rope. It's a lasso. Whatever. And cool new gadgets on screen. I'd highly recommend seeing it before it leaves the big screen. Now that you know about the movie, let's talk a little bit about the King of the Shop. Located on St. James' Street next to the historic wine merchant Barry Brothers in Red, the two-room shop is knitted out like a mini Kingsman outpost, complete with dark green paneling, futuristic interactive changing room mirrors, and even a stuffed Mr. Pickles reclining on a shelf. While all of that will grab your attention at first, it's what's displayed in the cabinets and hanging from the rails that will really get you pumped for the movie. For this sequel, Mr. Porter has produced its own Kingsman line that it's launching in conjunction with the film. The clothes you see in this shop are all in the film too. And it's not just clothes they offer, but accessories too. There are special edition Kingsman diaries, lighters, perfume, story pens, handkerchiefs, and loads more. If you're in London and want to see it yourself, it's located on St. James's Road and will have the Kingsman layout and accessories until Christmas 2017. The staff are very polite and don't mind you looking around even though you probably can't afford to buy anything in there. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. My name is Isaac and this is Movie University.